gradually, you need to know when to expand. And to know when to expand, you need to look at how much money you have. So if you don't have enough money to make more crafts, then maybe it's not the right time to expand. So what she did was she saved. And when she was able to save enough, she felt safe already because she already had the funds. She did not have to borrow. It was just a, a little while to save that little amount. So when she had that little extra amount, she was able to expand. She listened to what her customers said. Now, they said they wanted different crafts. They want more colorful ones. They want bigger ones. They want smaller ones and so on and so forth. And according to her customers' feedback, she made new ones, new crafts. And guess what? Her customers really love them. So Julie was very busy. She was so busy that she really could not have enough time to sleep. And that was when she started to hire helpers, one helper after another. And each of these helpers made her very happy because she was less and less tired, unlike before. Because she had extra time on her hands, she also started to learn and she gained more skills. And when she gained more skills, she became better at her job. And she was not ashamed to approach other businesswomen. There were a lot of businesswomen in her city who could give her great advice. And so she did. Aside from getting advice from me, she was also open to listen to the other businesswomen because they were more familiar with the terrain, with the business environment in her city. (laughs) 